Hello everyone, this is our presentation on evidence-based based practice. We're doing it on nursing care plans and its relation to catheter-associated urinary tract infections. Um, the group consists of Marian Jitty, Irina Cartman, Tejinder Balkaur, Wendy Ramos, and Justin Urutia. Uh, the topic identification. Despite evidence that catheter-associated urinary tract infections or CAUTIs and accompanying adverse outcomes can often be prevented, these infections remain among the most predominant healthcare-acquired infections in the United States. Many organizations have adopted the practices advocated in evidence-based guidelines but still struggle with implementation and lack methods for efficient and reliable performance for prevention practices. CAUTIs, care plan, Plans allow to develop written guidelines for urinary catheterization that include indications for indwelling urinary catheters and ensure that catheter placement is limited to patients who meet the indications. Moreover, the care plans or bundles uh, provide guidelines for aseptic insertion, hand hygiene, use of sterile lubricant, pr prompt removal, and adequate catheter securement. The clinical question is, in patients with an indwelling urinary catheter, does the implementation of nursing care plans compared to no nursing care plans decrease the risk of catheter-associated urinary tract infections during the hospital stay? The purpose is, uh, the aim of this evidence-based practice project is to compare the ev effectiveness of not using nursing care plans against using nursing care plans in decreasing catheter-associated urinary tract infections during hospital stay in patients with an indwelling urinary catheter. The stakeholders are the individuals and organizations that have a vested interest in the program and may be affected by the evaluation results. They include staff, program managers, directors, patients, community members, community-based organizations, health service providers, funders, academic organizations, professional organizations, advocacy groups, government officials and representatives, and etc. Uh, so the systemic search for research evidence, uh, we use the IO model of evidence-based practice for problem-focused trigger and quality improvement. The first step that we went uh, in uh, performing the research study, we identified primary sources, the Cochrane Database, Centers for um, Health Evidence, government websites such as the CDC, uh, Department of Health for Statistics, um, search engine sources, we use the CML, PubMed, Cochrane Database of Systemic Reviews, and we um, looked at secondary sources as well, such as literature reviews. Um, we read some background articles to get a broad sense of topic and to identify um, the national standards for um, uh, catheter, preventing catheter-associated urinary tract infections. We uh, started with clinical articles to understand the topic. We moved to theory articles. We used um, systemic reviews, evidence-based practice guidelines. Uh, Meta-analysis, clinical studies, um, research articles and sources focused on national guidelines, statistics, interventions, clinical studies in regards to large hospital institutions within the United States. Um, we focused in, uh, within the United States because maybe um, national guidelines will differ what, in other countries. And we use sources no more than 10 years old. Um, next slide, please. Uh, so we disseminated the question into parts um, to understand what we are looking for, um, what keywords we, to type in um, to get a good uh, amount of articles. We used um, nursing care plan, um, CDC guidelines, statistic, prevalence of infection, effectiveness of current practice, um, not adherence to current plans. So the search words that we used um, was urinary catheter, short-term urinary catheter, catheter-associated urinary tract infections, nursing care plans, urinary catheter, non-adherence, and hospital-acquired infections, because CAUTI is a hospital-acquired infection. Uh, next slide, please. And we used the Iowa model of evidence-based practice um, for uh, problem focus triggers. Um, the model's prevalent in academic and clinical settings. Um, we use the problem focus trigger, which um, you have a, a staff members, they, they um, see a current question um, in nurse, nursing practice and whether patient care um, can be improved through research findings. And with um, CAUTI, there's um, an increased rate of um, infections. So maybe nurse caring, nursing um, care plans need to be modified or adjusted. So you look through all the scientific articles, and if there's not much scientific studies, then you would have to um, go ahead and conduct your own study. If there is sufficient research base, then your team pilots changes in practice, and you evaluate the effectiveness um, in achieving your goal. Next slide. Um, so for grading the evidence, um, the level of evidence, the evidence um, hierarchy model was used um, all the 
articles that were included were level five systemic uh, review of descriptive and qualitative studies. Next slide, please. So systemic review was done and then the, the people question used as the, the basis of the review match the um, studies included in the review. The review methods are clearly stated and comprehensive uh, if mentioned on slide six. Um, the dates of review um, uh, included, as mentioned by Marian earlier, were um, less than 10 years old. The inclusion and exclusion data, um, the criteria was um, not mentioned. Um, Actually, the study did not have um, a data that was um, based on a gender or uh, age group. So evidence-based practice was uh, to assess each of the studies in review for quality and scientific merit. Studies uh, were analyzed individually and data was clear. The method of the studies were clear and appropriate. The clinical uh, conclusions drawn from the studies relevant and supported by the review. Next slide. Um, studies have shown that the catheter-associated uh, urinary tract infection are decreased with the interventions. Um, uncertainty about the balance between desirable and undesirable effects. Uh, interventions decrease the copy compared with no catheter use, might be even lower number of UTIs overall. Uncertainty and variability in the values and preference. Um, nurse protocols um, used in removal of catheter um, have helped prevent infection in patient population 50% um, or more than without nourish protocol use, patient population, um, age, or admitting diagnosis was not factored into the studies. Next, please. Um, so uh, evidence-based practice um, is already mentioned previously. Uh, a multidisciplinary uh, group of experts in the hospital uh, was chosen to complete search of literature and evidence table that summarizes the quality and strength of the evidence on which the practice guideline is um, derived. Literature review and clinical research has indicated the use of interventions and a nurse protocol in removal of the catheter resulted in decreased um, the number of uh, copies. Um, guidelines have been developed to assist bridging practice and research. So um, the guidelines are available on www.ncc.org. Next. So um, upon doing um, an evidence-based systematic, systematic um, web search for um, evidence-based practice articles, um, this is what we found out. We um, searched through articles and we have at least four right now. And um, we divided into this, we have it in this table and we divided it into citation, research question, um, the research design that was used. We have the sample, the variables, the statistical tester methods, um, and the results is also there, the strength and weaknesses of the articles and, um, and also the level, uh, level of evidence and grading. This is another, um, this is the other table. Next slide. Um, recommendations for practice, we did it accordingly to what we have on the table. Um, so for the first article, this is, um, this is the results, basically. Number one, collaborative and multidisciplinary approach and efforts in the implementation of No Preventable um, Harms Campaign, which is a guided surveillance tool that focuses on CAUDI's prevention, um, assisted in, prevention assisted in the reduction of infections and increased patient safety. Um, for the second article, daily evaluation of indications for continuing catheterization and implementation of an intervention to judge appropriateness of indwelling catheter, catheters uh, resulted in significant reduction, reduction of cavities. Next slide. The third article, uh, the results basically says that um, nurse-led nurse -led and informatics-led interventions are both successful in reducing counties. So translating knowledge about um, counties into practice is important in applying these interventions. For the fourth, um, fourth article, um, it proves that a nurse-driven protocol uh, greatly decreases the duration of use for indwelling cath catheters as well as um, incidents of uh, as well as decreasing incidents of counties, in turn decreasing the cost of healthcare. So based on the recommendations for practice, we use the plan, do, act um, model to implement our 
implement our study. Um, first, in planning, we used the pilot for we used a pilot uh, for a nurse-driven protocol to discontinuing um, urinary catheters on two out of four patient care units in the hospital. This protocol was added to the electronic medical record as part of the daily nursing documentation. Prior to that, there was a three-month history of catheter-associated uh, UTIs that was obtained from the inf infection control nurse or team. Do on the pro we implemented the protocol on three uh, participating units. I'm sorry, on the participating units for three months, uh, where each for the first week the charge nurses along with the informatics department uh, audited the accuracy and documentation uh, from the nurses. So this is they provided uh, reminders for the nursing staff to to document this and ensure that they were doing it accurately. Um, in the study portion of the Plan Do Act, uh, Plan, Plan Do Study Act, uh, the, we analyzed the findings uh, for those after three months of implementing this uh, protocol. The total number of the catheter-associated UTIs uh, were compared to the protocol implemented to the pre-protocol implemented count. The findings of the new uh, catheter UTIs will be analyzed and determined if protocol was applied to the patient. So uh, under ACT, we, the nurse-led protocol um, is uh, to discontinue catheters will be adopted if, if um, the, the count after the, after, the, um, after the implementation is less than what was previously. And here we, we base it on if it's decreased more than 25%. Uh, next slide. Under data connection, collection and analysis, uh, the infection control department will report number of cases of catheter-associated UTIs in the three months during the, during, um, the pilot, um, during, I'm sorry, in the three months during the pilot protocol. Uh, the records of the catheter-associated UTIs will be audited to determine if the protocol was in place. So based on those, if we find a, a catheter-associated UTI, we will look at it, analyze it deeper to see if if we did have that protocol or not. Uh, the reportings, we, uh, findings will be presented to the stakeholders. So the RNs who participated in, in assessing this, the directors, managers, physicians, and et cetera. Um, this will be presented in, in staff and administrative meetings uh, using graphic displays. Next. Here um, are a few examples of the uh, questions that would be asked in the um, uh, part of the protocol in the electronic medical record. Next. Um, next. Uh, this is just a, a quick questionnaire that the nurse can simply fill out um, on each patient every shift. And here are our references. Thank you everyone for watching.